Paralife TV and in this episode I'm going to change out my front caster wheels out of my tie light ZRA wheelchair. I'm going to show you the tools that I use, I'm going to show you how I clean them and just basically replace the wheel today. Uh, taking the front casters out, putting new ones back in. Okay, so if you can see here, I'm going to go a little bit closer, that these are way past uh, its service, servicing. I should have done this months ago. And generally, I would uh, clean these out, you know, every month, every month and a half, two months at the latest, to keep it clear of the dog hair, because these things pick up everything. These front caster, the caster wheels, they pick up everything. If you can see here, see the dog hair, kid hair, probably my hair. It's all in between the front caster. Um, and if I'm going straight and the wheel wobbles and it's hitting up both sides of the, uh, the, the front caster, I don't know what direction I'm gonna go in. Left, right, straight, who knows? So anyway, I'm gonna take you for a little ride just to show you how that affects your wheeling and uh, then when we get back to it I'll show you the tools that I use to replace the wheels the front caster wheels and uh, we'll get to it and get dirty. Caster that I blew the bearing you can see how it's pressed up against the side of the fork right so when I'm wheeling that friction on the left the right side is my right um, that'll prevent me from having a nice smooth wheel and it also want to force me to, to turn when I don't want to turn. Uh, let's see if I can't get wheeling here. See, there's a lot of friction there. I'm not sure how well you can hear it on the on the video, but I can definitely hear it. And so it's preventing me from having a smooth wheel and smooth turning. So. Let's get that changed and put some fresh wheels on there for a smooth for a smooth ride. Okay, before we get going, I'm going to show you the just the tools that I have uh, to replace the front caster wheels. First, I'm going to show you I have new new wheels right here. Got new wheels. Sorry about that. You get some new wheels, fresh from the package. Um, basically, all you need for the tie light is two oops, Phillips head screwdrivers. So I have a small, small screwdriver and a medium sized one. Uh, you may need a flat head. I do have a precision tool um, in case I have to pry the, the screw away from the, uh, the axle or the little. Uh, Axle goes through the uh, the wheel. Sometimes they get seized up and rusted, and you got to kind of pick away at it. But hopefully, we don't have that problem this time. Some pliers, needle nose pliers, and a small set of vice grips. Now, like I said, generally all you need is the two Phillips uh, screwdrivers, and hopefully today's replacement will go smooth, and that's all we need. Okay. I also have a pair of gloves to use because you're going to get really dirty. Your hands are going to get really dirty. And um, so you want to protect your hands. I have some Lysol wipes to clean the forks. And uh, I just have an extra rag over here. There's an extra rag over here in case I need to wipe something down. Uh, okay, so that's all we got. Oh, can't forget this. This is the marine grease I use. I use that on all my wheelchair parts pretty much. Like your, my tires, my wheels. Or sorry, my wheels and axles, um, front casters. So just get, adds a little extra repellent for water. Okay, so let's get at it and let's get you this camera mounted back. So those are the tools I need. Okay, well, basically two of them and two screwdrivers. So let's see how it goes. So, I'm going to take two Phillips screwdrivers, I have one small, a medium sized one, and I'm going to basically anchor one of them down because you have your two screws on each side here. 
So you got a screw here, and you have a screw on this side, both Phillips. So basically what it is, you gotta put one uh, screwdriver into anchor, and then use the other one just to unscrew the other screw, because they uh, counter each other. So we'll get this one out. This one's nice and easy to come out. Now, that would be a miracle that I get through this changeover without dropping screw. And there I go, I just dropped my first screw. <laughs> that wasn't playing. Oh, I'm always dropping tools and I'm always dropping hardware. And I almost just dumped myself out of my chair. Okay, so that's one down. And now this one here, let's see if I can't get it out. It is so gunk. And it is stuck. In there really good. There! Whoa! Okay, so I finally got that out. I shredded my glove. Gotta get a new glove. Okay, so finally get that sucker off. And I'm gonna show you. Look, no bearings in there at all. The little ball bearings are gone. Kaput. And look at the hair. That's been accumulated. It's just nasty. So it easily came off. So this here, I know we're going to have a problem. This spacer, it's a little space that goes over the axle. And the screw screws into here. Uh, we may have a problem getting that off. So it looks like a pretty rust, it looks pretty rusted on there. The other one came off. Um, I'll show you that in a bit. Okay, put that right there. Show you the gunk that came out of that one caster wheel, the front caster. Look at that crap. Ugh. All right. So now we're gonna do is clean up the fork. Clean up the front caster fork. It's pretty dirty. I don't know if you can see that or not. I mean, you could use. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. Uh, you you can use paper towel, wet paper towel, or moist paper towel, or a rag. I prefer to just use these Lysol wipes, they're easy. Just scrub it down. Ooh, wait, we got it. Yeah, we're good. Really trying to get all that old grease off there. Shine them up a little bit. I get a little bit of paint. I use my chair painting in the summer and I get some paint on my caster, so I gotta get that off too. Lysol wipe, I'll dry it off with uh, just a rag here. Dry it down, wipe it down again, and I think we are ready to put a new caster wheel on. Okay. So here, brand new shiny caster wheel. Old one. New one. Nice and shiny. Okay, so again, here we go. We're going to, first of all, what I'm going to do is get some marine grease and clean up that axle before I slide that back in, right? I clean that up. So I'm just going to wipe it down with that Lysol wipe and then dry it. And then I'm going to put some grease on it. Just a little bit of grease on it there. There. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna put a little bit of. Hello, Jenna. Hi. A little bit of grease on it. And I set it aside. See, I drop everything. Set it aside. That nice little rag I got to get that grease off me. Okay. So, now if you look in here, there's a little. Let me get. Now, you see, the only bugger about putting these on is that, see this little spacer in here between the bearings? 
that little thing. You gotta make sure that's center to get your axle put through there. Okay, sometimes it's a bugger to get that like that, but you know, when you frig with it, it'll it'll you get the axle put through. It's not that bad. So basically what we have here. You have your spacers. Spacer here. Spacer there. Those go on the outside of the wheels like this. They plug right in the bearing. Like that. And that one goes in like that. Okay. So basically there you go. We have it like that, right? You can see both sides. And then you go. We're going to put it in the fork here. That might be a little bit of a tight squeeze at first. There we go. And I got my glove. Get that in there. Okay, whoops. Okay. Okay. So we got the wheel in there. All lined up. Okay. See if you can see it there. It's just in there. I don't have the screws in it yet. I don't have the axle in it yet. So I don't want to. So that's my next step. Put it back in here. Okay. It's ready to. I'm just ready to put the axle. I'm ready to put the axle in. So this is basically just sitting there. We got the axle that's all greased up. Now I'm gonna slide that. And like I said, remember that little bugger of a um, spacer that's in between the bearings? Well, I gotta get that centered. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my precision uh, tool here. It's just a small, small flat head. I'm gonna actually put it in and lift up the center piece for the bearing like that. Or center piece in between the bearing. And then that'll allow me to slide my off. So now I got uh, the caster on and they got the axle lubed. I gotta feed it through like like so. I don't know if I'm trying to get there we go. You gotta feed it through the outer part of the, uh, the fork, through the spacer, through the two bearings, and back out this side, okay? Because they're threaded. The axle's threaded on both sides, so then I gotta put screws in to tighten it in. So this like is, could be the tedious part because of that little spacer between the bearings inside the hub. And I'm going to use my precision tool here. It's just a little flat head. I'm gonna go in, and I'm just gonna wiggle around And hopefully, like I said, there you go, I got it. So I'm gonna wiggle it around. I'm just wiggling around that little spacer between the, the bearings. I'm wiggling that so I can get enough play, enough space or whatever to the axle through, which I did. So you can see here that I did. I take these gloves off because they are, I wanna to touch my camera. So these are all full of grease. Okay. Okay, so take the grease off the wheel. So I'll give you a little close up now of what I did. I so said I had to feed feed through the axle. So now you can see where I'm gonna put those two screws in. There. And whoops. There. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. That'll finish off that wheel, so. So we're gonna have two screws, you're gonna put your washers on. Your screw. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm going to, uh, try to get this. I'm gonna put this in my, my hand first. Start it off. 
finger tightening it. Okay. The other one here, screw the washer. Going to get it feathered in with hand tightening it. Get that in by hand as far as I can. Now I'm going to need my two screwdrivers. I need my two Phillips, like I said, one basically the anchor because they counter each other. So this should go in the bottom. So I'm gonna go from the bottom and the top here. There we go. Look at that. Let me just back off a little bit. I think I got screwed that in too tight. Okay, so again, I'm gonna take two uh, Phillips screwdrivers, anchor one side, and if I can't get the other one. Okay, they're moving. So that's gonna come out. So we'll be able, we'll be okay here. I just won't be able to. Okay, so I got this sucker out. Now that screw is seized in there big time. It's a little stripped. So I'm not gonna to try to force that out. I'm gonna leave it as is, and I'll just end up using the axle and just screwing it back in that side. It'll be all right. And I'm gonna wash this up, clean it up. So let's see if I can't get this wheel off. Yeah, that was much easier than the last one. So again, look at the hair. You know, it's really important. You gotta clean these suckers out. Look at the dog hair. Dog hair, kid hair. Still not a bad wheel. This wheel's actually pretty good. Is it here? Still a pretty good wheel. This will be a good spare one. I'm gonna to try to get these off, the spacers off, and uh, yeah, we'll use this as a good spare. As a good, we'll use this one as a good spare. So okay, here. So I got my little vice grips. And I'm just going to grab them a little bit here, like this. And I'm just going to wiggle. Wiggle slow. I'm not clamp there. Hey, that one came out pretty good. So that's one spacer. One spacer. And this one here hopefully comes out just as good. So I'm just going to... Oh, yeah. So this wheel is much... This wheel is much better taken off than... There's a smaller spacer there. Okay, so. Toast. Salvageable. We're going to keep it. We'll clean it up. The bearing's still decent inside it. I'm just going to put uh, two new wheels on. This one here, like I said, we can salvage it. It's not bad. It'll just take a little more work. Uh, okay, so. Spacers. Old wheel. So we're going to clean up the fork. Replace all white. There we go. Get that all cleaned up. And then we're gonna dry it. Okay. 
Okay, all right. Now we're just gonna put in the new wheel. So these here, four inch soft rolls. Okay, four inch diameter width. They're, um, I think these are 1.5 inches wide and they are great for going over little cracks and bumps. Um, like if you're in town on sidewalks or sidewalk cracks, that type of thing, concrete cracks, anything, they kind of just bump right over. It's great. Very rare have I ever dumped myself out uh, using these out of my chair. So, okay, so let's get them in. Let's see if I can. Now I'm going to put a little grease in around the bearings here. I didn't do that the other one, but I had enough grease on the axle to uh, compensate for that because it ended up getting all over. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a little grease. The axle here. Oops, that's a lot. And then I'm gonna put some grease on the spacers too. Just there we go. All right. So here we go. So spacer in, spacer, smaller spacer in there. They're nice and easy. Now we're going to slide in the fork. You can see that. I can get a better angle for you. Okay. There we go. Okay. And then my axle. Take it and pop. Oops. Remember, we have that screw that I couldn't get out on that side. So I got to put it in the one side only. So we're going to freaky freaky with it. And I'm going to have to use my little precision tool again. Because remember that spacer in between the bearings that's inside the hub, I got to get that little spacer up even so the axle here can slide through. So here, let me get my precision tool. Okay, so like I said, right now I can't get that axle through because the center in the bearing here in the center part, there's a spacer in between. So I got to free you with it. And push at the same time. Hopefully, it'll go down in. There we go. I think I got it. I think I got it. Oh, no. I'm just going to give it a little tap. See where I am here. Oh, look at that. I was already lined up. Just needed a little tap to get through. It's a beauty. We're through. Okay. Much easier this one. Alrighty. So let's get the grease off here. Now I'm just going to get my screws put in there. One screw, I guess, right? Because said that screw is seized up and that ain't coming out anytime soon. So I will put through the washer, a little screw through the washer. I'll put it in hand tighten. I can here. Am I lined up? Yep, lined up. And hi, Danny. 
And then, if you can see, let's tighten in like this. Hand tighten as far as I can go, and then that's it. And I'm going to tighten it in the rest of the way here. With a screwdriver. Let's see. Oh, let's go this way. Let's go. Can you see that down there? There we go. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Now, let's take a look at this. Pretty good, hey? That's got to be screwed in a little bit more. Perfect, look at that, it's been no play. We're good to go. Other one, good to go. So, now we're gonna take it out. Now we're gonna take it for a little drive, see how it works. But first I'm gonna show you again, look at the hair. The hair that I got from just those two wheels, two front wheels. Crazy. Now that's like an all winter. That's neglect from. I haven't cleaned out those wheels in probably about four months. Just about four months worth of hair. So I do my part of the chores, cleaning up, sweeping the floors. Okay. So now I'm going to take it for a test drive. Just replace the bearings. I replaced my front wheels. So look. So much more. I'm not even pushing it. I'm gliding. I couldn't get this glide with my other wheels on at all. So much nicer and smoother. Woo! Hey, zipper. Okay. Hey, again, zipper.